What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing a home pull workout. If you haven't seen the push workout, I highly recommend you watch that one. Now, we are faced with a bit of an issue when it comes to doing pulling exercises because if we're trying to build muscle or at least maintain it, we need a reasonable amount of resistance. So we're gonna to have to get creative in this situation. Now, I do not have a pull-up bar in this apartment yet. However, I'm gonna be creative. I'm gonna hold onto this ledge and pull myself up and pray to the Lord that this is not gonna break. If you are gonna do any kind of pull-up on furniture, please do check to make sure that it's sturdy enough to hold your weight. Okay. That is absolute agony on the fingers. However, it's hitting the lats nicely. So I'm gonna do pretty much every set to failure. So that, eight to 10 reps, give yourself a nice little bit of rest, and then go again. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. If you cannot find any kind of pull bar or anything like that, then just ignore the first one. Now this one, again, I'm trying to be a little bit creative. I'm trying to find something I can hold on to where I'm pulling onto some firm object using the weight of my body. So what I'm gonna try and do here, get underneath a chair. Most of you guys should have a chair. <sighs> Ooh, that's a horrible noise. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hug it. I'm gonna hug it like a bear hug, okay? So I've got a tight grip of it. Then what I'm gonna do is pull myself up all the way down and relax and pull up. So I don't really know what you would call this exercise, but there is some activity going on in my back and it is quite challenging. It's like a horizontal pull up with half the range of motion. So with an exercise like this, do as many reps as you can with the greatest range of motion that you can find. And there you go. Working my back and my rhomboids a little bit and my biceps. I'm gonna superset that exercise with a kneeling single arm reverse flight. So this one's gonna be hitting my back and my rear delts. So put the band under a sturdy piece of furniture and it's gonna pull back. You don't want to spend too much time at the bottom of the movement because there's minimal resistance there. So we're gonna try and keep everything under tension at all times. Hardest part of the movement is obviously gonna be at the top, so we wanna try and spend a bit of time there. Next exercise, again, we're gonna do a superset. I'm doing a lot of supersets because a lot of these exercises from doing by themselves, they're pretty easy. So, might as well make this workout challenging. This first one, I don't know the technical name for it. I believe it's called a bat wing. Kind of ironic, given the situation. Anyway, what we're gonna do, we can get two plastic bags. You should have plastic bags at home. You're gonna lie down. You're gonna look up. What you're gonna do is drive your elbows together and pinch at the top. Lie down again, up, squeeze. So you're working your upper back. Okay, this movement. It's tough, but it's not massively challenging. But we're doing something. Again, spend a bit of time at the top of the movement, because that's where it's going to be toughest. Try and bring your elbows together behind your back as much as you possibly can do. Once you've done that, we're going to go on to single arm band rows. Now we're going to try and do what we can here. I mean, I'm, when I'm at the gym, I'm doing like a one arm dumbbell row with more than 40 kilograms. Same thing if we're doing a seated cable row. So 
Realistically, it's going to be quite easy for me, but I'm going to try and make it as hard as I can do. So we're going to slow the tempo down. So ideally hold the squeeze at the top of the movement for a good two seconds. The sturdier the furniture and the more resistant the band, the better it's going to be for you. Next exercise we're going to do is again a superset. This one we're working on the lower back and then we're going to superset hit the rear delts doing a face pull with a band. First one, a bit of a weird one, kind of feel like you're a limp seal, but what you're going to be doing, like completely relaxed on the floor, and then you're going to contract your lower back, lifting up your legs and your torso. So in that kind of a fashion, relax, up. And as you pull up, I want you to retract your scapula as much as possible, so you're pulling your shoulders back as well. Should be quite good for strengthening people's lower back if they do have a weak lower back. Straight after that, we're going to do face pulls. So we're going to get on the floor, kneel down, attach a band to a piece of furniture, and we're just going to row the band towards our face, pulling the shoulders back and squeezing at the top of the movement. Next, we're going to move on to another superset. We're going to incorporate some biceps now. The first one's going to be standing bicep curl. Now, I'm going to split it into two. I'm going to stand close to the base of the band, and I'm going to overload the top portion of the bicep. Okay, so just staying fixed within this range because here nothing is happening. Okay, so overload the shortened position of the muscle. as many reps as you can, ideally within the eight to 15 range. And then, once you've done that, we're gonna take a step forward and overload the lengthened position. So here, the bottom half, because the tension is now great at the bottom. Okay, same thing again. You're gonna be a little more fatigued now. So I would say, Eight to ten reps is good going. But I'm really feeling the burn in my bicep now. Once you've done the curls, you're then going to go on to reverse band flies. Now, if you don't really feel much resistance, you're not going to be doing much. You'll just be giving yourself a bit of a pump. We want to try and make this really hard so we can at least either maintain or even build a bit of muscle whilst doing this. So I'm going to do a few reps with a much thicker band, so it's gonna be a lot harder. Once I've done that, I'm gonna do like a drop set with a less resistant band, okay? With that one, just keep going until it starts to really, really burn. You're gonna have to go high reps to really get the most out of exercises like that in the rear delts. So, that is the full routine. What I want you to do on a week to week basis is progressively overload, increase the volume, the intensity. Either do more reps, a couple more sets, reduce the rest period a little bit, maybe even slow down the tempo even more. Even just think about trying to maintain more tension on the working muscle. But basically each week you should be getting harder and harder so write down what it is that you're doing so that's that like i said watch the other push workout 
if you haven't seen that already. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.